All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I wanted to kind of give a little breakdown, uh, basically of how I uh, achieved, and it's not really achieved, I kind of added on um, one of the things that I purchased when it comes to my latest uh, short scene or series that I'm kind of coming up with and creating, and that's the you know, I mean, stories of Tyrone and Steve. So you can see the characters there. Um, yeah, let's just jump right in here and, and see what, we, what we're looking at. So as you see, this is my scene in Unreal Engine. This is pretty much what um, what I have, and I kind of want to show you basically how I I came up with this, how I got it. You can see me there. I don't really debut in this story, but this whole it kind of got that Spider Verse look and just the whole breakdown. So we're gonna start this from scratch. Uh, first, I'm gonna let y'all know what I purchased. Um, I basically purchased this right here. I don't know how to pronounce this uh, guy's name, Savant Setin or whatever, but um, this comic book looks and particles on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So definitely go check him out. Um, definitely a lot of uh, good stuff there. So I purchased this because I wanted to have that different kind of comic look feel and be able to navigate through it. But you know, like I always tell you, I don't, I don't know everything on Unreal. I'm still learning. So you have that. Then I'm going to show you how you bring that in. First off, what I'm going to do here is because I already have it on here. You can see kind of dress this little thing up. But let's take it. Let's take it back. Let's let's delete this stuff and we're going to build on top of this. So this is with all of that out. We don't have it on here, right? Um, this is how it would look if I get focused because right now I know I'm out of focus, but that's not the concern of this video. I just really want to say um, this is where we start, our starting point. We put all the characters in there. We know how we do that. We go through the animations and I did this with mocaps. Uh, you know what I mean? All of that goodness. Uh, goodness. We just trying to jump through it. Like I said, I ain't trying to make this thing too damn long. So we got our, what you're gonna do first, you're gonna have to go through your post process. So you go to post process, you're gonna see that, you're gonna click on it, we have that here. And here, we're gonna click on render. We're gonna type up render. So in here, we have our post process materials. We got, um, and then we'll see that under here in rendering, rendering free, why can't you speak right now? Under rendering features, we have our post process materials under array. We're gonna go add, it's gonna bring this drop down and just let y'all know I am using, this is Unreal Engine 5.2. And if, if it's a little different from any other ones, it might be, but this is what I'm using 5.2. So I'm gonna go to choose asset reference. Now we're gonna go in here and I downloaded that pack. You wanna make sure you take that, um, what I mentioned, this content, that's the comic book you want to bring that in here we can find that here comic book right there we go to post process you have these post processing um basically all these materials these are things of different comic book looks so you want to see which one you're going to use right here i used a uh, um, m halftone hatch mix so what we can do is we can just kind of go in here i'm gonna type in m halftone right so um, half tone hatch mix so I can go in here and look and that is the v2 one so click on that it'll start going through now you have that in here you can definitely take a look at other ones see how those take a take off and look and you can pretty much see kind of what kind of feel that you want to go for and whatever you're creating All right so that's it it's all done no <laughs> Um, one thing that I noticed, and I had to actually reach out to, um, reach out to the seller when it came to this is, is if we zoom in on here, you see how I have all of this stuff. You see those dots on their face, like this, that extra comic book added. So you got dots on the table, you have lines, you can see those kind of, those lines is going down the face there. The problem that I had was, when I see this, I start building my scene out. You know what I mean? I add me on the walls, add my movie, pick a side. You know what I mean? Add my daughter, I add a bunch of things in there, just little Easter eggs. But when you're doing this, it looks good. And then you get ready to export or render out. And when I rendered out, it didn't come out looking like this. It still had its look. So just in case if you run into this as well, um, I did do some images. Let's go to what you see in your editor, right? So this is what I see. 
I was like, oh, I like how this looks. I want this. You can see the dots. You can see those lines. I wanted that comic feel. I wanted to, to have that. It's almost like shading or you're just drawing on there. But when I rendered out, what I got was this. Now, um, you probably can't see it too much, but if you notice those dots are pretty, they're fairly gone. They're there really small, but it definitely doesn't look like um, how it looks like in your, in your editor, like that. I wanted it to render out looking like that. So um, what I ended up having to do was, and this is after re reaching out to, um, like I said, the seller, and I was like, maybe I don't know what the hell's going on, but I just wanna figure out how do I make sure that I can export out and it have those dots in, which this, what he basically told me was, you're gonna go through the post-process material. So I got that pulled up, let's see right here. I'm using the V2, I'm gonna click, it's coming off on the off screen. I'm gonna bring this over here. So in this, um, see that can be definitely, um, it can mess you up looking at it because it's crazy, right? This is an Unreal Engine. I don't really go through messing with a lot of these things, but fairly simple. If we look through here, we got those dots, All right? Basically it comes in, it's set, and this is in the half tone. You can take a look. You have the half tone here and you have those dots. If we scroll down, we have the lines. They come in at five. You can adjust and do whatever you feel. Um, what I end up doing was I end up putting these at, um, what did I put the dots at? I think it was at 12. I put those at 12 and I think these are like the text or coordinates, but I could be wrong. I'm just saying some shit. You know what I mean? I'm just talking. But basically, ultimately when we watching tutorials, we basically just gonna copy what the other motherfucker doing, right? So, and I think I put these lines at 13. Now what it's going to do now, you ain't gonna be able to see it when I hit apply. It's gonna make these things thicker. Man, oh damn, let's just move this off to the side. Now look how this looks. It's like, oh shit. It's thicker, the dots are a lot bigger. And we're like, that's not exactly what I want. But what I noticed was, when I do this, um, when you render out, the dots are gonna be, they're gonna be more, uh, they're gonna be, you're gonna see them more. It's not gonna be this. What you're gonna basically get is what I had in um, my final video. So it's almost like you're gonna overly do them here in your editor. And then when you export, it's going to definitely soften it up. It's gonna sh uh, shrink them a little bit. But what you get is a final result is basically what you had in my video where you can be able to see um, a little bit of those dots more. You can see the lines. And I guess, you know I mean? This is just the way I did it. Like I said, I'm not, any kind of perfectionist, I ain't gonna say perfectionist, but I'm not any expert on this, but I do know it worked for me. And if y'all run into one of those kind of hiccups with this, that this can be a way to kind of navigate through it. And I know it might be some other Unreal Engine experts out there that might say, hey, you know what, for you to see it this way, you can do this. If that's what y'all know, you can leave that in the comments as well. This is what I'm doing as I'm going, I'm learning, and what as I'm learning, I'm actually basically executing and showing y'all as well. So some of these things that I learned today, I might learn the actual better way to do it later. And when we get to that point, I'll revisit it. But as I'm learning, this is the steps that I'm doing to create what I'm creating. So um, other than that, like I said, I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of how I came up with this um, look. And then you basically make sure that you get your lighting in there and you go through and you dress up the scene. And um, I pretty much did that as well. So. That's um, all I have for you today for this. I just wanted to show y'all. So if y'all did want to know how I actually came up with that comic book look or that um, across the Spider-Verse look per se, um, I basically use the reds and blues to kind of bounce off of each other and um, get things going. But uh, like I said, check out that, um, um, that Unreal Engine Marketplace if you wanted to be able to look into something like this. I forgot how much it costs. I think it's something like 30 bucks, like 29.99, 30 bucks or 40 bucks. It's one of those things, but definitely worth it because you can have so many tools in there that he gives you where you can go through and kind of adjust and make things happen. He also gives you um, pretty much a tutorial on how to set it up. It's kind of what I did. Um, it don't go into the detail of the adjusting in the post-process material, but you know what I mean? I gave you that. So 
You know what I mean? Which I got from him. So I ain't take anything um, away from him on what, what, what he gave me. So uh, for the most part, that's what I want to do. I want to kind of wrap this up. Keep it short and simple. Well, it ain't really short and simple, but it is an overview. So that's my process of how I came up with this. Hopefully y'all like it. Get out there. Go create. Keep making things happen. And I'll talk to y'all later.